Hi, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about customer hosted runtimes and what that deployment model looks like. So in this case, we're going to be talking about when the customer is going to be hosting our runtimes on their own infrastructure. So in this case, again, we're gonna circle back to talking about when we have our management plane And in this case, we're still gonna be hosting by MuleSoft here. The next part we're gonna talk about is our runtime plane. In this case, this is going to be hosted by the customer. When we talk about this, essentially what we wanna discuss is what is this going to look like from a customer perspective and how is this going to connect up to the management plane? So today what we're going to be discussing is customer data center. And I want to clarify that a little bit. So when, we, when I say a customer data center, this can refer to a bunch of different things. In this case, some of the examples of what a customer data center is going to look like could be Amazon's AWS, could be Google's GCP, maybe uh, Azure, or simply a bare metal server. Again, you know, this could there could be lots of other options here. Um, and in, in most cases, MuleSoft really doesn't care where we're connecting up to, where, what the customer data center is. We just want to make sure that you have internet connectivity so you can connect up to the management plane from these data centers. Now, with that being said, when you deploy to a data center, what you need to do is deploy a server. So when you have a server, you're going to have a few different things associated on that server. So you're going to have CPU, memory, and storage. Now, one thing to note here is that all of these resources are going to be shared with everything deployed on this server. So when you go to set up a server to deploy uh, an application on it for a MuleSoft application, the first thing you need to do is install the runtime agent. This is going to be MuleSoft provided and again, the thing to remember is that it's going to be shared by, or the CPU memory and storage are all going to be shared by that runtime agent and all the applications running there. Now, the point behind having a runtime agent is this is what's actually going to be connecting up to MuleSoft's management plane. So again, this is hosted by MuleSoft. So we're going to have MuleSoft's Cloud Hub out here. And if you remember before, we talked about management services. So those are going to be like your runtime manager, your API manager, uh, any of the monitoring services, any of those other types of services that are going to be hosted on our AnyPoint platform. These are going to be up here in the management services. So now these will generally be connected up via an HTTPS uh, connection. And it's going to be a heartbeat initiated from the customer up to MuleSoft's Cloud Hub. So again, I want to reiterate that that's going to be initiated by the customer. MuleSoft is never going to be initiating contact with, this, with the customer's uh, data center. And that's usually a very big uh, security concern of mo most customers. But it's always going to be customer initiated. So you don't have to worry about the incoming traffic. You just have egress traffic. Now, this is the, the actual management. What we really care about is the actual applications themselves. So one of the things, uh, again, to note is that you can go and deploy as many applications to the server as we want. The only thing you want to make sure is that because they are all sharing the CPU memory and storage, that you have enough CPU memory and storage allocated for those applications. Um, the best way to do that is to make sure you're doing uh, performance testing every time you're deploying an application. 
And generally, it's a good idea to actually be running all those applications at the same time so you can understand how the interactions work. With that being said, we now have our runtime agent so it can connect up to the management plane and our individual applications. But what we haven't discussed is really how do we connect up to all the different data sources we need to. So some of those data sources might be on, in the customer's data center. And so those are, you, you're going to simply be uh, connecting over the local area network or maybe a wide area network, whatever it may be for those different applications to connect up to those data sources. But you may also need to connect up to uh, a cloud type solution. So maybe you need to connect up to a Workday or you need to connect up to Azure, something of those sorts. So those are going to be your cloud data sources. So again, these ones will connect up over HTTP. You might need to set up some kind of a VPN tunnel, something of those sorts. But the point is that we're going to have connectivity set up to the cloud data sources. Another important thing to note is that connectivity is completely up to the customer to make sure that that's, that's working. Uh, it's not going to be any kind of solution that MuleSoft will be delivering. The customer need, needs to set up those, that connectivity. And if you need something like a VPN tunnel or something like that, it would be the customer's networking team and, uh, that would actually go and set up those types of things. So now we have our runtime agent, our applications. We got connectivity to our different data sources. But one of the things we, we also usually want is to have some kind of high availability. So generally what we'll do here is we'll actually be setting up another server. And again, we've got CPU, we've got memory, and we've got storage. And again, here we're going to be setting up our runtime agent. And we're going to have all of our different apps here. Now, one thing to make sure is that when we have these deployed, that they all have the same level of connectivity as the initial server does. So we want to make sure that these apps can connect over to our cloud data sources. We've got them connecting up to our uh, customer data sources, all those different things. Now, right now, they're just two different servers sitting out there. One thing that we want to make sure we do is we actually want to set up a cluster so that Number one, from a customer perspective, those are going to be highly available. So you can go and set them up um, <clears throat> in a highly available fashion in a, in, uh, via your infrastructure. But you also want to set them up so that the management plane will know that they're going to be a cluster as well. So essentially, you, do, you have two different steps. You need to set it up with your infrastructure and then connect it up to MuleSoft so that MuleSoft will know if I try and connect up to this server and it doesn't work, I can go over to this other server. And we've got the applications deployed in both places. Now, with all that being said, we now have our agents on both servers. We got all of our applications deployed in a highly available fashion, connectivity to both data sources and the management plane. And from a high level perspective, this is really our customer hosted runtimes. And thank you for watching.